What's up guys, Motonocity here, and today I've got the SMH-10R from Cena. I'm gonna go ahead and open this, install it, and give you guys a great review of this product from Cena. So the SMH-10R is the low profile follow-up to Cena's SMH-10, which is one of their most popular Bluetooth headsets for your helmet. And this one, the low profile version, is the one I decided to go with. I wanted something low profile, was it gonna be sticking out, would be great for sport riding, and so that's why I chose the SMH-10R over the SMH-10. I know there's a lot of other guys, um, a lot of other moto vloggers who use the SMH-10. Great product, everyone I've talked to loves these. Uh, they are Bluetooth as well as, um, so Bluetooth to your phone as well as intercom to other users. So let's go ahead and open it up, see what we've got inside and uh, check it out. So right on top we got the uh, the manual listing out all the different functionality. Like I said, we've got intercom up to uh, 900 meters, so a little less than a kilometer. You can do four-way intercom, multi-point, so you can connect it to more than one device. It's got voice prompts for things. You can listen to your uh, music over Bluetooth. You've got playback control, super light. Again, this is a low-profile version. Audio booster. You can actually change the uh, vol oh, got it over here. The individual volume control. So depending on what device or what you're listening to, you can have different volumes for that. Um, and uh, firmware, firmware upgradable, so that's always good. Uh, we can go ahead and leave that aside for now. Inside we have the different pieces. Here is the actual device, so the actual control mechanism that we're gonna be putting on the side of the helmet. This will connect to everything else we've got. So here I believe is the uh, boom mic. Got that, probably put a foam piece on the end of that maybe. Uh, right here we've got this smaller mic piece. Uh, this is probably what I'll be using. Uh, mount it, got a little sticky on the back, we'll mount it right there in the front of the helmet. And inside, got all the other parts. So we've got the speakers that we'll put in the side of the helmet. Got a charger if we want to charge it. Got some boom mic foam pieces. Got some speaker foam or speaker. Uh, ah, this is the Velcro for mounting the speakers. Got the um, actual, I believe this is the battery. Got some extra stickies with the Velcro to mount it. And uh, USB. So let's go ahead and piece this together and uh, stick it on the helmet. I'll be putting it on a Shoei RF 1100 that I have right here. So this again is the RF 1100 from Shoei. I'm actually gonna mount it right here behind my camera. Uh, I don't wanna put it on the other side. I've already got stuff over here. It's super light, so it's not really a, gonna make a difference which side it's on. Um, and I actually might be um, taking this off of this side. Uh, so I'm gonna put mine right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so there we have it, got it mounted. It took me a little bit because I had to figure out how I wanted everything to be wired inside the helmet. So let's go ahead and show you how I have it. Um, I've got it mounted here on the left side, like I said. Uh, this part actually pops out, so I'll just go ahead and show that to you really quick um, on my helmet. And then I've got these little uh, grooves here. So I just wired everything in here so it's tight and then locked it back in. So there we have it just like that, so it's real uh, real slick and tight there on the side. That's what she said. Um, and then we, if, if we go on the inside, you can't see it, but I have the uh, speakers mounted down in the, the holes on the side. I did use the speaker pads to raise the, the speakers out a little bit. And then I wired everything into the back. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. I'll try to show you. I have all of the internals uh, taped back here and I have them taped down at the bottom where the back of my skull isn't you know pressing against it if there I had it up here before um, but that was really uncomfortable with these uh, little connectors right there so I moved that down to the bottom now I can't even feel it at all uh, and we can put this pad back down and now you can't even tell that it's back there and we have the earpieces nice and cleaned up on the sides and it's all good to go
last forever. Seriously. If you don't have a Cena headset yet, get one. Because they are amazing. Literally have changed my experience of riding a motorcycle when I'm with other people. It's just a whole different level of enjoyment being able to ride with other people and talk to them at the same time. So I've got the SMH-10R, which is the slim profile version of the SMH-10. Works all the same functionality, no differences at all except in its size. So it has a, sl a slim, low profile control unit and then a battery pack that's mounted separately. And I've been running it for, I don't know, maybe six months now. I really wanted to get a good feel for it, a lot of use out of it before I did a review of it. And I feel like I have uh, a substantial amount of experience with it now that I can give a good review. I used this a lot for the first time at the Chase on Two Wheels meetup out in Atlanta. I was able to get on uh, talks with Yummy R6 and Chase and just had an all around blast talking to the guys while we were riding. Like, it's a completely different experience. It really improves upon the enjoyment of riding. And I know there's a ton of enjoyment just in riding itself, but when you're able to, you know, have conversations with people while you're doing it, just like pointing things out, commenting on the environment, commenting on things that happen around you, it's just a ton of fun. And we were able to do that. Uh, you can do up to four people on the same call. All right, right here, bam. It works, it's got an intercom system. It works within, I wanna say like 900 feet, 900 meters, can't remember. 900, I think maybe 900 meters. It also has, you can also Bluetooth people in, or yeah, Bluetooth people from your phone, like a phone call into an intercom uh, call as well. So it's got a ton of flexibility. I use it, I turn it on all the time when I ride to and from work. I got it connected to my phone, so I'll turn on like, usually I don't listen to music on it because it's mounted a little too far away from my ear. It's also got risers, but, and I wanna say, uh, that's what I call them. They uh, make it so that the earpieces are cl set closer to your head. But for my helmet, if I use those, they're a little too close to my head. And they, hurt my ears so I just have them just the earpieces by themselves so there isn't that much bass so I don't listen to too much music with it but I'll listen to like comedy because that's just voice and it sounds the same regardless um, obviously you can take calls on it but I, I don't do that too often I have done it sometimes I talked with uh, I had a phone call with Jake the garden snake um, before the meetup or a couple weeks before the meetup, just talking about it and getting some plans in place. And I was just riding home from work and on a call with them. So that was pretty cool uh, being able to do that. Strongly recommend it, guys. I, I love it. I will never have a helmet that doesn't have a Bluetooth system from now on. And that Bluetooth system for me is going to be the Cena because one, they've got awesome support. They've got awesome products great quality they're really pushing the envelope on you know what they can do with things they're looking at what the market is like and making products that target that you know obviously there's a huge vlogging community and people who use their gopros and so they came out with the gopro backpack where you can attach the attach this backpack thing onto the gopro and it'll use your cena uh bluetooth headset to do the audio into GoPro. So check them out. I got a link in the description. If you guys check out the one that I have, I strongly re recommend getting one. If you ever ride with anyone, even if you don't, I use it for both times where I'm alone and when I'm with other people. And I get use out of it in both situations. So check them out, they're Cena. Got a link for you guys. Maybe the next time we do a meetup, we can sync up and chat over Cena headsets. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.